Okay, it is 3 in the morning, and here's a quick video on how to use your MIDI Twister Fighter with the MPC Live software. So the first thing is, you're going to open up the utility and close this. And then you're going to open up the MIDI Fighter utility. Once you open up the utility, you're going to click on where it says encoder settings. You're gonna come down here and click multiple. Now I've already clicked them and I'm not changing them. But this is what, where I had them set, set at. Has indent, no sensitivity, high resolution, indicator type dot, enable super knob, I said no. You could play around with that, but I got it to work this way, so I didn't touch it. Switch action type encoder, fine adjust, and then encoder MIDI type ENH. Um, just make sure whenever you click where it says uh, multiple, you click all the knobs. you want to change and I'm using bank one. All right, so I'm close that. Open up the MPC software. Let that open up. And then we're going to go to the MIDI settings. Nothing too spectacular here. Uh, just make sure in the MIDI settings, you have the MIDI uh, Fighter Twister selected. Over here, we're going to go to Q-Links. Set that. And then, you're going to, of course, hit Learn. Select the knobs in the order of the uh, cue links. Uh, so one starts here, two, three, four, five, so on, just like your pads. Once you've selected those, go ahead and uh, turn off learn. Just make sure you have relative. Hopefully you can see that. Relative CC offset. Selected for all of them. Uh, still haven't figured out how to use this one yet. I'm going to play around with it so I left it empty. That's the one that allows you to select between screen and whatever. Alright. So I have that set. I have that enabled. Now you're just going to if you look here I'm turning the knob and it's nice and smooth. Uh, when I had it set up incorrectly, they just kept jumping either all the way to the left or all the way to the right. But now it moves exactly like the cue links. This one, if you notice, this is the track and it's moving at smaller intervals, just like the cue link would very smooth this is where everything gets a lot better for you so now on my mpc i hit plug in i'm gonna go to menu program edit now i got the new uh baseline plug in up now i can use this and I'm moving my knobs, they're not jumping. They're moving just as smooth as the Q-Links. I don't know if anybody else ran into this issue. 
Uh, but it was bugging me. With this MIDI fighter twister. But I wanted to make this quick video to try to help out others who may have ran into the same issue. Thank you guys for your time and continue to make great music. I hope this helps someone out there because I'm for sure it's going to help me if I forget this. Take care and have a great morning.